In part one of this video, we started taking a look at how we could solve the equation x to the sixth minus nine x cubed plus eight. And we determined that it was quadratic in form, so we let y equal x cubed, y squared equals x to the sixth, and that gave us an equation which we could solve quickly by factoring to find out y is equal to eight and y is equal to one. Of course, we want to change back into x, so we replace those y's with the x cubed, and that gave us the equation x cubed equals eight and x cubed equals one. And so we looked at solving those equations. What we found from the first equation, that when we subtracted eight, we had a difference of cubes, where the first factor gave us a solution of x equals two. The second factor, we were able to solve it by completing the square, to give us two more solutions, x equals negative one plus i root three, and x equals negative one minus i root three. We then went back to the second half, where we knew x cubed equals one, and again, by making it equal to zero, we saw we had a difference of cubes. From the first factor in the difference of cubed, we found out x equals one, and the second factor, we still have to solve. It's gonna be a little tricky to complete the square because that middle term is an odd number, so we're gonna have to deal with fractions. So instead of completing the square, let's use the quadratic formula, where a is equal to one, b is equal to one, and c is equal to one. So the opposite of b, negative one, plus or minus the square root of b squared, one squared, minus four a, which is one, c, which is one, all over two a, which is one. So x is equal to negative one plus or minus the square root, one squared is one, minus four times one times one is four, all over two times one, which is two. So we have negative one plus or minus the square root of negative three, when we subtract, over two, and then all we can do to simplify the radical is pull that negative out. And so for our final last two solutions, we have x is equal to negative one plus or minus i root three over two. And we end up with a total of six answers. Two, one, negative one plus i root three, negative one minus i root three, negative one plus i root three over two, and negative one minus i root three over two, all as solutions to the original equation, which seemed quite simple, x to the sixth minus nine x cubed plus eight. We found those solutions by using our new variable, giving us a quadratic we could quickly factor and solve. Then, switching back to our new variable by replacing y with x cubed, we got a difference of squares, I'm sorry, a difference of cubes in both of our equations, and solve those equations by factoring and using, completing the square or the quadratic formula on the prime trinomials.